Hi everyone, Sarah here with Signals Everywhere and today we'll be taking a look at QTMM. This is probably one of the most simple applications in my uh, tool set, but it comes in handy so very often, especially if you work with Packet a lot. Uh, so what this application does is it's actually an AFSK 1200 decoder. So this is perfect for decoding uh, 1200 baud uh, AFSK such as APRS or packet communications. And so I'm even going to uh, show you how we can use this application to uh, listen in to packet communications in real time. Uh, but let's go ahead and give you a quick rundown of the user interface. You can see we have a simple input box and this is going to give us all of our audio inputs and the great thing about this is that means we can use a virtual audio cable to pipe in audio from other applications like SDR++. We then start the decoder and uh, really that's all we have to do to start decoding. We also have the option to save these packets to a file or clear the packets from the screen uh, which of course is uh, very handy and that's really all we need to use this application. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, monitoring APRS uh, packet communications and then we'll take a look at uh, monitoring an actual chat conversation going on between two users over a packet connection. So here we can see the uh, application decoding some APRS for us. Um, we're in the US, so we're on 144.39 megahertz. And you can see we have SDR++ on the left hand side so that you can see the waterfall as everything uh, comes in and gets decoded. And it's a very sensitive decoder. It's actually one of the best uh, software based decoders that I've seen. Works very well um, without any trouble. Like I said, it's a basic simple application for um, being able to monitor this kind of traffic and this comes in really handy especially when you're debugging things. Uh, for example, I was recently working on a uh, BBS application that works directly with a radio and to be able to decode the packets I was sending out in real time uh, was very helpful in making sure that I was sending the packet in the correct format. Uh, so very useful application and uh, now we've seen a little bit of this let's switch over I also want to show you uh, how this can receive a uh, packet communication and even let us see the contents of a uh, file that's being sent over a packet transfer using the QT term application that I showed you in an earlier video. So here we can see that we have two radios talking back and forth to each other and they're actually trying to establish a uh, session for a uh, packet communication here. And uh, we wait just a moment, you'll see that we now have uh, some text coming in. So they're talking back and forth. You know, how, uh, hello there, how are you? Uh, another station's gonna come back with a message here in a second. I hope nobody is listening. Um, keeping in mind, you know, obviously we wanna remember that this is all uh, completely public, it's open. And uh, everything that you send out over the air is going to be decodable by somebody. So uh, you want to keep that in mind uh, any time that you're using APRS or any other type of radio communication. And now you can see uh, in the chat here that they're talking about sending a secret file. So we'll wait a moment and we'll actually get to see that file coming in and uh, look at the text within the file. Uh, as it's being sent over the air in real time. And we're just listening with an RTL-SDR uh, using SDR++ and a virtual audio cable right over to the QTMM uh, software. And now you can see that we're getting uh, data coming in from the other uh, packet station and they are now beginning to uh, send a file back and forth. Uh, and as they're sending this data across, I'm curious um, if you guys take a look here, if anyone's able to tell me what type of data that we're sending over the air, please leave a comment below and uh, let me know if you're able to figure out what this is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This one was fairly quick, but uh, it's a very indispensable program. I wanted to make sure I showed it to you to give you guys an idea of what can be done uh, with some of the sound card based software that's available. And uh, if you found this uh, video helpful or useful in any way, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, huge shout out to all of my subscribers as well as my patrons. And I'm going to put your names up on the screen here now that I have my software all set up again. Um, very happy to be able to do that because uh, my patrons help me out so much just in the production of videos and honestly helping me get by right now. Um, Patreon's about the only income I have at the moment. Uh, so you guys are helping out tremendously uh, by being patrons. So thank you all so very much and I will see you all in the next one.
拜。